I'm Ricardo. I'm 27 years old. I'm much younger than Renee. And I, and <laughs> oh, I, a lot a, younger. <laughs> and I own a taco truck. My name is Ishmael. I'm 31 years old. I like soccer. <laughs> I am Brian. I am 21 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I'm a photographer. My name is Elizabeth. I'm 22 years old and I like to read. My name is Renee and I'm 29. I'm a mom and I have my own business. <laughs> hey, I'm Corey. Um, I'm 28. I got two kids and I got a husband, a stay-at-home mom, and I run a taco truck. We know Jesus as he got closer and closer to the cross. His friends list became smaller and smaller. When you decided to follow Jesus, sold out, surrendered, how hard was it and your friends list became smaller? Um, I guess I guess in a way we can all relate to that because um, you wake up on, on a Friday morning and there's nothing to do Friday night. Go to theme parks with just your kids and that's about it. <laughs> yeah. Those kids become your best friends and those are the basically what you got. And you go and you do everything with them. For me, when I was in school, it went from having, you know, groups of friends to eating lunch in, like, the teacher's classroom because I was just not wanting to surround myself with those people anymore, those influences. It was kind of hard in the beginning. It kind of hurt for the little bit of time, but then I began to realize that family was always there and always had my back. And drawing closer to Christ gave me more satisfaction. As a young person, a young adult, how do you keep your eyes focused on Jesus when others around you, your age, are out partying, drinking, etc. I think it's just, um, you know, praying and getting in God's word. It was really, really hard. I was so used to a different lifestyle. When I got closer to God, my friends started disappearing. Even some family members started disappearing. And I was still really young. It's kind of like at a moment where like, what, what do I do? What is even fun? I didn't even know what fun was. Before you have a relationship with Christ, you think that fun is like drinking. People think fun is like going out and partying, all that stuff. So when I came to a relationship with Christ, I was like, so what is fun? Is this fun? Because then you got people that already have a relationship with Christ that are like, oh no, you can't do that. Oh no, you can't do this. Oh no, you can't do that. And so I was like, what? So what is fun, God? Well, the closer I got to Christ and the more I got deeper in his love, like, other things that I thought was fun wasn't at all and you know then I started realizing well I can go to the park and just like enjoy myself and it don't have to be about like the party and it don't have to be about the craziness you know just enjoying my time with God it was really special for me personally I've always counted up the cost is it really worth it in the end to party to drink and to smoke like I used to smoke weed what and I look back at it and I'm like, it wasn't really worth it because I kept chasing after that stuff. And to stay focused on God, I agree with Renee. I think praying and reading the Bible, changing the way you uh, listen to music, stuff like that, um, cutting off the things you watch. Yeah, I think like when you all get, kind of stuff. I think when like you get closer to God, you know, you find a different purpose, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's definitely so true. So your purpose begins to change because the closer you get to Christ, you know, you understand him more. Yeah. You uh, begin to know what love really is. So everything in your life starts unraveling and understanding more. It's like the whole entire purpose that you had before isn't even the same at all. Well, like you said about the park. Uh, yeah. I used you to see go things. to the park to smoke weed. Right. And now I go to the yeah. park to look at the trees and take photos. You of see it. things so differently. So that draws me closer to God and yeah. gives me focus. Like, wow, my purpose is, you know. A lot bigger than just doing crazy things. The word purpose came up, so do you think that as you began to draw closer in your relationship with Christ, do you feel like that your purpose became more clear to you? Yeah, it did. Before I met Ricardo, I actually was a Christian. I was Catholic, and everything was way different, church-wise and stuff, and when I met Ricardo, and what he liked to call me was a baby Christian. <laughs> things opened up to me. Everything became clear, questions that I had, about God and just the whole religion part of it. Um, I learned that you don't have a religion, you have a relationship with God. That kind of opened up a lot and I've seen what my purpose was 
and why God put me here. So is it hard for you to share Christ with friends and family, or is it harder to share it with strangers? That's a tough question. Well, it's hard. Uh, on my side, because all my friends, they Catholic, and they believe, they not believe in the same stuff that Christian people do. So it's like you fighting with them all the time, you know? You tell them something, they say, no, it's not right. It's something else. Yeah. So it's better just to, I mean, family, yes, depends, because I, I think I'm the only Christian in my family, to be honest. My mom and dad, they're not even close. Except I got one uncle in Texas, that he's really Christian. He's been kind of like probably 20 years now. And he went to Mexico to my mom's house and dad, and he started talking about God. And my dad told him to leave his house because they believe in all this stuff. Yeah, it's so, hard too. Yeah, yeah it's hard. Uh, it's just, I mean, I, I don't even have enough friends that are Christian because my life has just been just fine and doing you know, all this stuff. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, since I started, since I stopped drinking and doing all this stuff, I don't have no friends. Yeah. I don't have no friends, to be honest with you. Yeah. They all just kind of disappeared. Yeah, everybody disappeared. You got a melman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not even, you know. You become friends with Yeah, you yeah. can, I mean, you become friends with the weirdest yes, yourself, yeah. you know? Yourself, yeah. Yeah, just yes, basically true. yourself. Yeah. yeah. But then we got all, we got, all of us, all of us. Each other. Yeah. Each other, yeah. How important is that to stay around people that are helping you to iron sharpen iron, like God's word says? Well, yeah, you can only get better with anything, sports, hobbies, anything, when you surround yourself with other people that do the same hobby. It's the same situation when it comes to your walk with Christ. If you hang out with other people that have that same walk, then you're all on the same journey to get closer to Christ. If somebody was in the Springfield area, how would they get connected with East to West? You can come find us on Sunshine across from Brom, Brahms or like the Facebook page. And we're always posting like the calendar and what we're doing. And you can always message one of us and we'll give you information further on how to get in contact with us and find out what we're doing. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Hey, is this thing on? You want to borrow mine? Hey, what up, y'all? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so uh, let's start recording. This! <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> My tongue was like stuck. Apparently. I told you. What that's why was I needed that?